Hello people from the future, welcome to Armalize Nerd. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about two very important concepts in NLP that are text summarization and keyword extraction. Well, I will be doing these things using a famous library called Gensim and obviously I'm gonna explain you how this thing actually works. If you don't wanna miss any future videos, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon. So let's get started. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna do the things a bit differently. Usually, I first explain the concept and then jump into the code section. But in this video, I'm gonna be explaining the concept and the code simultaneously. Let's see how it works, okay? As I told earlier, I'm using Gensim here. This is probably the most famous deep NLP library, okay? And we need two functions, summarize and keywords. And both of them belongs to the same module. Well, this is because both of them applies the same algorithm. In one case, we just consider the sentences, but in another one, we consider words. Well, when I'm gonna explain the concept, this thing will be more clear to you, okay? So, to begin with, we need some text, right? Because if we don't have the text, what we are gonna make the summary of? And how can we extract keywords if we don't have any text? So, I am taking this text, okay? Well, this is just the description of my YouTube channel, nothing fancy about it. So then I'm taking this whole text as a single string. You can see that this is a long string. And after that, we just need to do this. We just need to pass two arguments to our summarize function. The first argument that is the string is the compulsory argument and every other argument are optional. Here I am passing an argument called ratio. Here the ratio is 0.5 which simply means it will produce a summary that will be half of our original text. But how do you define the size of a text? Well there can be two main ways. The first one is the number of sentences and the second one is the number of words. It turns out that if you use the ratio argument then it will produce exactly half of the number of sentences that of the original text so in this text we have six sentences so this function will produce exactly three sentences okay so the first one is i love to create educational videos on machine learning and creative coding true enough and the second one is machine learning and data science have changed our world dramatically and will continue to do so absolutely and the last one is the if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel please do that okay and you can notice one thing is that it is not creating any text of its own it is just extracting the sentences from our given text this kind of summarization is actually called as extractive summarization there can be generative summarization also in that case the model will come up with its own sentences that is more advanced concept and it is a topic for another video okay but how the hell it pulled out these three sentences obviously there needed to be a logic right well let's explore how this algorithm actually works don't get afraid by this huge diagram because i'm gonna be explaining each and every step very clearly okay so first of all we have our raw text and if you have followed my NLP series, then you should know that raw text is of no worth. We have to first clean our text. Well, this step is also called as text pre-processing. After that, we have our cleaned text. Well, to get to the clean text, we use many techniques. For example, we remove capital letters, we remove punctuations, we remove numbers and many things like that. Okay. After that, we are dividing our whole text into sentences well why because you have seen that we are generating the most important sentences in our summary so we must know the sentences that are present in our text okay so we are just splitting our whole text into sentences after that we need to tokenize the sentences well tokenizing simply means 
we need to divide the sentences into its words so this is the first word of first sentence and this is the last word of last sentence okay so the tokenization is done then we need to convert this sentences into vectors yes into numeric values because computers don't understand these words it has to be converted into numbers right but how can we do that well there are actually many ways of doing that the most effective way is to use the word vector and i have explained this concept of word vector in detail in my videos so i will highly recommend you to check that one thing you will notice that word vectors are applied for words right one word will be explained as vector but here we are representing the whole sentence into vectors how can we do that well one simple trick is to just append the word vectors so after appending the word vector of each word in a sentence we will have this long sentence vector and this is the first sentence vector and this is the last sentence vector well another way of generating this vector sequences is to use something called tf IDF that is also I have explained in my previous video but it is really not recommended to use TFIDW if you can use word vectors because word vectors perform very well compared to this TFIDW thing okay after that we need to create a similarity matrix don't get afraid by it because the similarity matrix is just a matrix of n rows and n columns what is the n you may ask well n is simply the number of sentences that we have in our text okay and each entry in this matrix is just the similarity between two sentence vectors for example if you are looking at the entry at ith row it will just denote the similarity between ith sentence and jth sentence now there can be multiple ways to compute the similarity the famous one is the cosine similarity okay you can also use euclidean distance or any other kind of distance if you want now we need to create a graph out of the similarity matrix but how can we create a graph and what will be the edges and the nodes well for text summarization we just want to extract the sentences right the most important sentences so the nodes will be sentences okay and the edges will represent the similarity all right and one thing i should really point out that this graph is not a complete graph but if you want to create the graph from this similarity matrix then it will be a complete graph that is every node will be connected to every other node because we can find the similarity between every two sentences okay so this graph really should be a complete graph now comes the most interesting thing we have to rank these nodes but how for this we use something called as page ranking algorithm well this is the billion dollar web page ranking algorithm that google uses well obviously the modern browsers use a very refined version of this algorithm but the core idea is the same and this algorithm was developed by larry page and the fun fact is the algorithm is named after the creator not the work it does that is page ranking okay but how can we use this here you can see here that in this original algorithm they treat the web pages as nodes and the similarity is just the similarity between two web page links and they find something as score for each web page the score simply denotes the probability of an user to click on the link but in our case the score will represent the importance of a particular sentence in that text so after getting the scores we can rank each sentence 
just like that and we just need to output the top k sentences isn't that amazing and this whole process is actually known as text ranking algorithm let's get back to coding okay let's see what are the other arguments that we can pass to our summarize function okay so here you can see that we have an argument called split and if we make this argument true then it will return a list instead of a string okay now we are going to use the next function that is the keywords function this will help us to extract the keywords so you can see that i am extracting five keywords here and the keywords are educational machine coding future exactly but how does this keyword extraction works well let's get back to our conceptual portion the thing is very simple here instead of considering the sentences as nodes we can just consider the words as nodes so after doing the page ranking algorithm here we will rank the words instead of the sentences and that's how we can output topmost k important words isn't it amazing how the same algorithm can be used to generate summary and extract keywords okay so that was a very small example but now let's do this thing into a larger example so here is my large example well this is the last chapter of my most favorite sherlock holmes story that is the hound of baskervilles written by sir arthur conan doyle and i will definitely provide this link in the description okay so first of all let me show you the text it is a big text as you can see here it starts from here and it is very long yeah it ends here okay and i have just saved it as hound.txt so first i need to read this file and to read this file using python i'm first opening this and make sure to make the encoding utf8 and then we are going to use the standard dot read function and we are going to neglect the space between two lines okay so here i am using the summarize function with a ratio of 0.1 because obviously it is a huge text and i don't want to produce a summary too long so i am using only 10% of it okay so this is the 10% summary and we can also use another argument called word count so this will just give you the summary containing these many words okay so that's just another thing of producing summaries using gensim and the last thing i want to show you is the keywords on this text now you can see here that i am producing 30 keywords and one important thing is that i am using a parameter called lemmatize equal to false well this means it won't perform the lemmization but what is lemmization just look at the examples stapleton stapletons well these two are actually coming from the same root word if we don't use lemmization then both of the words will be treated as two different words but it really shouldn't be doing that it should really output only stapleton so in the next example i have made the lemmatize argument as true so it will perform lemmatization and it won't take two words it will just treat stapletons okay and similarly in other cases also it has just considered only one instead of two words okay and if you just go through the words you will actually notice that it really works because stapletons is an important thing in the story baskerville is definitely the important thing in the story hound important so you can see that how good the gensim keyword extraction is so that was all for this video guys if you have enjoyed this video please like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel stay safe and thanks for watching